Hi, this is Mark Birch with a quick revision of Macbeth Act 4, Scene 2. Macbeth's third crime is depicted on the stage, making it even more horrific because the audience can't avoid the kind of visceral impact of witnessing this mother and child being murdered. Um, and its horror is made even more shocking by allowing the audience to engage with Macduff's son and wife before the murder. We get a sense of their feelings, we get a sense of their characters, and therefore we feel more when they're murdered. Lady Macbeth criticises her husband to Ross, saying that he's essentially abandoned her, his babies, his mansion, his titles, uh, to disappear off to England. But Ross defends Macduff. He says he is noble, wise, judicious, and best knows the fits of the season. In other words, he understands the vagaries of what's going on in Scotland at this time, so there must be a reason why he's departed from his castle. Macduff's sons also presented very favourably by Shakespeare. He displays humility, bravery and wit, exploring the extended metaphor of him as a bird by stating that he will survive on what he can get and that he need not fear being trapped because he's too skinny to bother with. Poor birds they're not set for. We should therefore feel a huge amount of sympathy for this character and his murder is going to be even more appalling as a result. Having been warned about the danger posed by the advancing murderers, Lady Macduff considers philosophically uh, the state of the world, where to do harm is often laudable, to do good sometimes accounted dangerous folly. And this parallelism is clearly an allusion to the notion of fair is foul and foul is fair, another parallelism, because Lady Macduff is recognising that there's moral uncertainty harming someone is often laudable, praiseworthy, and doing good is sometimes dangerous folly. Fair is foul, and foul is fair. Macduff's son's bravery is evident in the way in which he defends his father's honour. Um, after the first murderer accuses Macduff of being a traitor, his son says, Thou liest, thou shaghead villain! There follow a number of references to fish eggs in relation to Macduff's son. What, you egg, young fry of treachery? Um, emphasising how young the boy is, making again his murder even more terrible. And finally, to reinforce this, the boy's final thoughts are for his mother, not himself. Um, an interesting contrast to Macbeth in the previous scene, where Macbeth had displayed his absolute selfishness, uh, being prepared to destroy the world as long as it fulfilled his aims. Okay, tough.